Today we're doing bagging only, <laughs> so I am not allowed to drive forward at the start. Uh, I'm gonna try and always make a comeback right at the end. And this is something that some of you guys have been requesting because I've done a lot of bagging lately, but I haven't really explained in full detail how to do all the bagging stuff, except for uh, like a few things I say here and there, plus like the Cheeseland short, the Riverside Park short, but those are like specifically bagging tracks. I'm gonna be just showing how to do it on every single track today. All right, so first thing you always wanna do is go for coins. Um, and for bagging, you do need a lot of track knowledge. So on every single track, you have to know how many shortcuts there are, where the shortcuts are, how best to take the shortcuts, and uh, how far back you're gonna allow yourself to be because of how powerful the shortcuts are. So if it's a track without powerful shortcuts, I will not allow myself to be too far behind. But on a track like Sunset Wilds, you can get pretty far behind. And it's, it's fine because of how, uh, how good these shortcuts are. So the shortcuts on this track are mostly at the start of the track. So I'll just bullet through the ending. And then I'm gonna save this golden mushroom for the beginning of the track and hopefully get into first place using this. Or not necessarily first place, just a decent spot. Okay, more mushrooms. So I'm gonna start my golden here. If I didn't have more, I would start my golden right here, which is where the first shortcut is. But now, see how much of a comeback I'm making now? And look at that, we're in second place. <laughs> oh no, I can't do anything about this. Okay, we're gonna get out of there. Hopefully no more red shells. Oh, blue shell, perfect. If I was in first place, I could dodge it thanks to my bagging, but and I'm not in first place, so I'm not getting hit. <laughs> All right, there's another win in the books for Sunset Wilds. It's always such a shame bagging from first place because I have zero coins. I'm just forced to bag. I wouldn't normally bag. I don't even know if there's coins or items back here. Nope, not for a while. I might've put myself too far back, but it's lap one. It's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, these items are in a different place than I'm used to. And let's get a couple coins. Oh, I suck. So I don't need to take shortcuts yet on lap one. I'm more concerned about my coins. There's a shortcut on the left here. So basically two shortcuts at the end of the track. They are not big shortcuts though. So you cannot rely on them to make a comeback. So I can't just like chain items this whole time. I'm gonna have to make sure I take a lot of shortcuts on lap two and lap three. So we're just getting these coins up. Um, let's, let's bullet soon. I'm pretty sure the bullet takes the second shortcut. Sorry, the first shortcut. So I'm gonna use it there. It's probably gonna be the best spot to use it. Just because in this section you change so many mini turbos that I don't think using a bullet is even worth it. There we go. Took a shortcut for me. I only, I'm only smuggling one mushroom though. This like isn't even that good. Oh right, I forgot. If you take that shortcut, the bullet skips the next shortcut. It's okay. It's not that big of a shortcut. Um, I don't think I can get a crazy snipe. Let's just stop people from approaching me. There we go. I think I got somebody. Oh, only one item. Bomb, come on. In sixth place, I want speed items. I need to take this shortcut. Oh, jeez, jeez, please give me mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> I, I don't know if that was worth it. Having triple bananas is pretty good as protection. Okay, that person ran into the other person's banana. What? Am I gonna win again? Oh, oh, the, the blooper is, the blooper is killing me. <laughs> I mean, it worked, it worked. I just, I was just really bad at the end. Ooh. No, <laughs> that was a disaster. Okay, we're gonna pause the challenge for a second because I need to win this race. I've never lost on Waluigi Stadium. Oh, that was not good. These are not good lines. Oh, I almost hit the fireball. Okay, that's fine as long as I don't hit it. And let's go for Shroomless Cut here. I feel like I haven't played this in a while. All right, very nice, very nice. Get a coin. Oh, I thought I would get two items. That's why I threw this. Oh, what? Okay. I think that'll get him. Yep, there's pretty much only, like that's a wide section, but not really, because there's only one line you can take on that section. I could, I could throw this again, honestly. Oh, I don't know. Right there. They, they, they don't control where they land. Oh, I don't know if I got him. Somehow we're like almost at 10 coins, probably just thanks to the coin item. I rely on front running so much on this track that I don't even know how to collect coins. 
I, I just used my coin item over and over. Oh, that was a bad line. Another one. Get to the boost panel, yes. Let's go up here, a little safer. Drifted the wrong way. Oh, they're right there. I think they don't have a red shell. Oh, hidden banana. Handling on this thing is not good enough. Holy. Oh! I didn't even see the blue shell on the minimap until I got the super horn! Ha ha! Ha! What a lucky win. Honestly, I, I didn't deserve that win. So, they disconnected me after winning on Waluigi Stadium. I guess I was just too good. <laughs> At least that's what I'll tell myself. So, on Riverside Park, uh, you... Just go watch my short and you know exactly what to do. No, I'm just kidding. So uh, what you do is you try to make your comeback on lap three at the beginning of lap three because there's a whole bunch of shortcuts there and you're allowed to get really, really far behind here because of how amazing the shortcuts are. And with more people bagging, hopefully there will be a higher chance of shocks and therefore you can try to dodge the shock. But even if you don't dodge the shock, if you're, if you're bagging, shocks are good for you. Oh, I have the shock. Okay, sweet. Um... You know what? I'm going to try my best to hold this to lap 3. I'm going to use a golden mushroom right here. <laughs> I'm only at 7 coins, but uh, I kind of need to make a push for the front. And everyone's taking the coins I wanted. Uh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I still have a shock. Someone could definitely hit this out of me. But it, this is so good. I'm, I'm pretty close to first place. Like, for Riverside Park, this counts as close. So, I'm just going to stay in the back here also lower the chance that, that a boo takes my shock because boos can only take items from in front of them Whew. okay okay here we go here we go stop everyone from taking the shortcuts using the shock now i can take the shortcuts and nobody else can except for anyone who dodged the shock oh, 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 oh. jeez the wall <gasps> okay okay good it didn't steal my star oh let's go oh, this was great this was great. Okay, so I pretty much executed the strategy perfectly. That felt great. It was so scary holding the shock that whole time, but I knew that that was probably my best strategy to win. We are just blessed right now with these bagging tracks. I'm gonna go backwards for coins. Starting in first place and, and being forced to bag is a disadvantage because you don't get coins. Uh, but this is such a great bagging track because of the gigantic shortcut. This is the number one most time-saving shortcut, aka biggest shortcut, in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So we're gonna get mushrooms here. Okay, three mushrooms is my first one, that's good. And we're just gonna do this next to the snowman. Don't go too far right, or it will count you out of bounds. But uh, that's, like, that's all there is to it. And uh, this is like the entire strategy to make a comeback on this track. Because look at the people at the front of the minimap right now. They can't take this shortcut, but I can. And if I can take it all three laps, like, I'm about to catch up to them right now. <laughs> it's such a good shortcut. I'm in sixth! Do you see how much I waited at the start? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna need a hope for no shock. Oh, okay, this is really dangerous. I don't have more mushrooms, and I, there's no guarantee I get more mushrooms in this spot. So I'm actually just gonna hold my star and hope no one shocks. But I'm gonna use this star as early as I can, but still take the shortcut. That way, I increase the chances of dodging a shot, using it right here. Item. Yes. Yes! Triple mushrooms! Okay. <sighs> Didn't get hit. Mushroom right here. Oh! That was terrible! No! I should have saved- Yes! Wait, first place is gone. What happened? How did they do that? Whatever, whatever. This is fine. This is fine. Haha! <laughs> Oh, this is this is great. I cannot believe this. I, I can't believe this. We just got another bagging track <laughs> We're getting so many bagging tracks the number of bagging tracks in this game is like 
it's not most of them, okay? I'm just getting very lucky that a lot of the great bagging tracks are here. And I forgot to bag. Okay, so we're, we're just gonna wait here. On Mushroom Gorge, it's really simple. You just gap jump. Like, the gap jump isn't, like, straightforward easy. You have to learn how to do it. But uh, once you know how to do it, like, it's just gap jump. Like, I'm in fourth already. I wasted so much time at the start, and I'm at fourth. Fifth. Okay, I need to get three coins here. Two coins. And that person has a red shell. Oh, I'm going this way. It's it's fine too. I, there, there's coins here. I'm saving these mushrooms as well. Don't want the star in my first slot because I want to be able to take the gap jump. Jeez, oh, jeez. I didn't get pushed off. It was just a baby daisy. Oh, bad line, bad line. Okay, I have a star now. Ah, oh, triple red shells. If they throw this... Yeah, I'm gonna try to dodge as many red shells as I can with this. Okay, we have defense. Oh, that was so scary. Oh, I only got one item. That was a mistake. Oh, a mushroom! Okay, if no one throws red shells at me, I win. I didn't get a super bounce. There it is, there it is. Okay, I can't take the gap jump. You have to have a mini turbo, you can't just mushroom. Third place did a really good thing throwing a red shell at me right before I could take the gap jump on lap three. Oh, we have a Yoshi on Yoshi on Cyber Slicks? <laughs> what a funny combo. Okay, so I cannot believe, we, uh, again, we got, uh, so we got SNES Mario Circuit 3, another one of the strongest backing tracks in the game, the strongest one we've gotten so far. I would say like Cheese Land and Dry Dry Desert are definitely more bagging than this, uh, but like, this is still one of the best uh, bagging tracks in the game. The track is almost entirely shortcuts. All right, so uh, let's uh, see what items we get here. A okay, star triple mushrooms. M maybe 30 seconds hasn't passed yet. You can't get like bullet, golden mushroom, uh, blue shell and stuff. Okay, well, 30 seconds has passed now, so we have a blue shell. I'm gonna hold this for a little bit. Uh, I just, if someone builds a definitive lead, that takes some time. So I just wanna make sure that that happens before I throw it. Okay, so I'm just going for more items. You can get really, really, really far behind on this track and it's completely fine. Um, you just can't be too far behind on lap three because lap three, you have the whole lap to make your comeback and most of your comebacks is gonna be, um, so I'll show you right here. After this shortcut right here, this item set, after you get this item set, you take the biggest shortcut on the track right next to me, where, which I'm not taking right now. You know what, I'm gonna use this bullet now. So. Uh, the reason I'm using it now is so that it drops me before the, uh, no, I used it too late. Okay, that's embarrassing. Uh, so it's not gonna drop me before that item set. But I like to use the bullet to get me into a decent spot on lap 3. You know what, I'm too far ahead, I'm slowing down. I, look, look at everyone's red shells, I don't want to get hit. Okay, now I'm invincible with a good item, please, good item. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now I can use these, chain. Oh, I couldn't chain. Okay, but it's okay. I still have mushrooms and I'm invincible for a while. And I get to take every shortcut at the end. See how much of a comeback I'm making? Oh, I'm not getting first. Okay, okay. Barely, barely got second place. First place might have been the front runner, actually. Uh, but there was no shock, which is crazy. Whether or not you dodge it, if you want to get first bagging, often the shock needs to happen at some point. Oh, just came back from the bathroom just in time. Good thing I'm bagging here. All right, get some coins. This section is very narrow and there are walls and everyone moves in a straight line. It's extremely easy to get hit here. So the two things I'm gonna be focusing on, oh, why'd you go that way? <laughs> the two things I'm, I'm going to be focusing on are um, avoiding getting hit there and uh, taking the ending shortcut. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna use that boo. Come on, give me the item quick, quick, quick. Okay, you need to get that double box in time. All right, so we're gonna take this shortcut. Don't trick here. Okay, making a bit of a comeback. Chain an item, yes, okay. And if I'm in the middle of the pack and feel threatened, I will use a star here, but right now I should be fine. Oh, prana plant, I'm slowing down. I released A. <sighs> what happened to you? All right, so I'm just gonna hold all these items. In ninth place, no guarantee you get better than these. And this is really important for the shortcut. So that's another thing with bagging. You need to know when to hold your items and when not to hold your items. And it really just depends on how good you think your next item is going to be and how valuable this item is to you later. So I didn't use it yet because it's going to be more, val more valuable to me here than it would be back there. Take you out. I can get them. 
I don't want that those items near me. I'm I'm just getting away. Oh, green shell. Alright, what are we doing here? What are we doing? I need to see which see which way everyone else is taking. Okay, I, I think I have to take the pink path. No! Okay, I have one more chance at a mushroom. Oh, I gotta slow down, I have to. I can't pass this person, not with no items. Ah, uh, this is really bad. Okay, okay, this is, a, this is fine, this is fine. I have a mushroom. A few other people probably have mushrooms as well, but... Come on. Oh, it broke on nothing. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that Peter Piranha was thick. There's one very important thing for bagging on Ninja Hideaway, which is how are you gonna get your coins? I just missed them. So what you wanna do at the beginning is take the top path. Actually, I stopped at the start. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be on the right cycle anymore. Oh, no, no, we're, we're good, we're good. So you wanna take the top path so you can get a bunch of coins right here. Because otherwise it's very hard to get coins on this track. And then generally if you want to dodge people, you come up here. Because there's not as many people up here. <laughs> okay, well they trapped the very, very thin line. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. Okay, and we have more coins right here. Don't hit me! I'm gonna use this mushroom. And uh, I'm gonna save this ghost for when I feel threatened by items. Or uh, I can just use it right here. Could take the triple greens. Okay, this is good. We're kind of coming back. So there's no giant shortcut on this track that you can take thanks to bagging. And so you have to make your comeback gradually. You can't make your comeback entirely on lap three. That It just, it just doesn't work. It's like you should not even try that. Okay, everyone got destroyed and I'm in second place with four mushrooms. <laughs> Bullet, I'm staying out of the way. Okay, um, I'm gonna hold on to these. This is better than I can probably get in second place. First place is way up there. All right. First place, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, free for me. They just gave first place to me. So I used that mushroom, ah, to potentially get red shell protection. Couldn't get it. Um. But this is fine. A banana, uh, a mushroom can kind of protect you, just because you can reaccelerate really quickly. All right, we won. <laughs> How far are the coins if I go backwards? Oh, that is way too far. I'm not going backwards for those coins. All right, so uh, on Music Park there is a bullet extension. It's very good to know all of the bullet extensions. Um, I was considering making a resource for like where all the bullet extensions are, but I um, have not gotten around to it yet. But for now, if you want to know where bullet extensions are, then you pretty much just like watch YouTube videos of bullet extensions. <laughs> that, that, that's what I did. There was this Japanese video. Uh, there's like a few, I just searched for them. It's like, it's just like all bullet extensions. There we go, we got the bullet. Okay, I feel like I rarely get the bullet here when I try to go for the extension. So we're gonna get rid of all of these. <laughs> I hit myself. Okay, so when you do a bullet extension, you generally want to get a second item behind your bullet before you start the extension. So now I have a star. And the reason you do that is so that, the, because the bullet goes so far that you want to smuggle this other item into a top position. So you use the bullet around the middle of the piano keys. All right, and it takes you around this curve. So look, we're already in sixth place. Like, it lasts so gosh darn long. <laughs> and I just got destroyed afterwards. So hopefully, I mean, I'm too far forward to get another bullet. I could bag again, but like, that's not a strategy you rely on on this track. You, uh, you can front run this track for sure. Cause this, I messed it up. But that shortcut, like, you t <laughs> having a mushroom doesn't really help and uh, yeah, so the the bullet extension's also like, if all you have to rely on is a bullet, there's no point. What? What? I, what placement did I get this in? Are you serious? I'm just talking. <laughs> this is so ironic. <laughs> I cannot believe this. This is cheating. How did I get a bullet in that spot? I was going to do so poorly, and then the game just blessed me. 
Okay, uh, these items are not good enough, so we're probably getting third here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was crazy, but that was a lot of fun too. Coconut Mall is another track where you shouldn't bag, but like it kind of works just because this game is busted. <laughs> and uh, there's also a bullet extension. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, of course, is take this shortcut in here. And I need to focus on getting in, uh, getting some coins. It can be kind of tough to get coins on this track. I'm gonna wait here. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep bagging a little bit more camp on that coin. All right, and so that mall shortcut is pretty much the only shortcut. There is an, uh, another shortcut with the glider, but it's like not really a big deal. Oh, I should have went up for the coins. That was my bad. Okay, and actually I don't need this boo, huh? So I'm gonna keep getting coins here. I'm just gonna use the boo. See what I get. More mushrooms. Okay, well, I don't need this many. Jeez. Oh, I'm messing up everywhere. But it's okay, we're at 10 coins, we're actually right behind the back, this is great. Okay, still in ninth place, so I figured I can get something better than two mushrooms. <laughs> One mushroom. Alright, it's fine, I guess. I'm using this, I don't want to get hit. These 10 coins are very important to preserve. There's the second shortcut. <laughs> Not a really big deal to do. I need to save this mushroom. Using the mushroom here would be really stupid to chain items. I have to use it into the shortcut. Okay. What? What? Ah, oh, and I lost my fire flower. <laughs> you just got coconut mauled. Come on, hit everyone. <laughs> okay, okay, fourth place is pretty good. I'm gonna be honest, I've never bagged on Donut Plains. I know you can, but it's really tricky. So here you can get two items, and there's only one more spot you can get two items, and that's it. <laughs> like, there, there are not a lot of items on this track, and so it can make bagging a bit risky if you don't get the right items. And look, look at how far out of the way these items are. Like, you have to avoid taking the faster water path. And same goes for the other item set. Like, you have to... Uh, you actually have to avoid a giant shortcut, like the biggest shortcut on the track, in order to get the last set of, um, the first set of items. So, I am just going to kind of wait till lap three. Just gonna keep getting coins and items, dodging people. Oh, a bullet, nice. No, 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 okay, I'll just use it. <laughs> I messed up that shortcut. Oh, the bullet doesn't take a good line here. I usually try to front run this track, so I actually... And the bullet doesn't extend there? That's ridiculous. Okay, okay. I am waiting around here. I do not want to be at the front right now. I'm just, just going to keep bagging. And I'm going to use this item set as my last item set. And probably going to avoid the next item set by doing a shortcut. Alright, here we go, here we go. We're getting up to the front. And take this path so that I don't take the other item. And do this. Oh no, I messed that up. All right, it's okay. I think I win. Oh no, they had mushrooms too. Oh, okay. I got second place. See, there's so many shortcuts on this track, but you don't get that many items. So you really have to be good with your item management. Toad Circuit is one of those tracks where I'm like, I can't believe this exists. Like, it's just so simple. It's so wide. And it's, it's just like a straightaway for like most of the track. I think you spend most of this track driving in a straight line. It's really funny. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is grab coins. This person's getting them, so I'm gonna go right after them. You you actually can't get too far behind on this track because uh, like while there is a giant shortcut at the end, there is only one. So, oh, th well, there's also the uh, shortcut at the beginning of the track. So there, there, there are two shortcuts. That one's a lot smaller though. So if you end up really far behind, you do have to take this ending shortcut all three laps. And you can't just kind of like stay infinitely far back. Get rid of the person with the fire. <laughs> Okay, so I actually don't want to be at the front yet. It's it's, it's only only lap two, and uh, it's so important to rely on your items and not get hit on this track. Okay, I'm just gonna stay back a little bit more. All right, more of these. You know what? I'm gonna go for more items. I don't like these. Come 
Okay, now I have to start making this comeback. Oh no! Get some coins back. This is bad. These items are not good. Oh, I thought I had a star next. This is really, really bad. Okay, but all the items come out on lap three. So I'm gonna hold this, uh, these triple mushrooms. Okay, th this could actually be okay. Okay, we got second place. Just dodge everything, don't be too far back, and make your comeback on lap three. Come on, come on. This is the third time today we've had Cheese Land on the screen. Can we please just get it? No! On the bright side, you can kind of bag this track. Now, there aren't a lot of shortcuts, but what we do have is chaos. <laughs> chaos that we can dodge using stars and stuff. So you can see from the minimap right now, I'm pretty much just trying to stay right behind the pack. I'm not trying to get super far behind and rely completely on items. You cannot do that on this track. But if I fall further behind, I would just use these uh, mushrooms and stars more separately. But because I'm still very close behind, I can just chain them all at the side. Nice items. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I will hold this bullet. Hopefully, don't lose it. But the pack is so close that pulling a shock is actually very unlikely. And given that I'm in last place, nobody can steal this from me with a boo. So after this boost panel, I'm just going to use it. I don't like this section. So the bullet can take the red path without being slowed down. Because <laughs> it levitates. Look at that. It passed so many people. Oh, jeez. Okay. I used it right away because I panicked. I don't know if I had to use this yet, but... Uh, okay, we're, we're at the front. You know what? If you're, if you're already this far up... You probably didn't do anything wrong. <sighs> Gotta look back more. Jeez, okay, I, I guess I'm still bagging. Like, there's there's still one more shortcut coming up. What? Okay, I thought that was my own boomerang for a second. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. There's actually... Uh, I could make up a few more placements here with this ending shortcut. Oh, two people got hit. That's perfect. And this person can't take the shortcut. <laughs> Sweet Sweet Canyon has a giant ending shortcut, and that's about it. That's all you got on this track. So it's kind of similar to Toad Circuit, but not quite as good for bagging as Toad Circuit. Uh, so I'm going to try and take advantage of the ending shortcut, and I can't get too far behind because it's not an insane bagging track. But there is a lot of chaos that happens at the start of the track and uh, around like this section and uh, well, pretty much every section on the track, honestly. So, oh, I forgot to chain items. Uh, so that is in my favor. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to stay in the back here and uh, chain all these items into this set. Oh, this person didn't even go for double item box. All right, ooh, a bullet. There is a bullet extension on this track, but it overlaps with the cannon, so it's not even that useful. I'm just, oh, everything's right here. I didn't get an item, no. Oh, I got a shock dodge though, that's so lucky. <laughs> I'm holding a bullet in third. All right, um, I think I'll just like use this if a red shell comes for me. This person's not gonna hit me. Or I can bullet through the shortcut. It's just like, if the bullet takes me all the way to first place, I'm going to not get to use it for long. But if if I hold it too long, the, the boo can steal it. So I'm kind of conflicted what to do here. You know what, I'm just gonna use it when I could potentially dodge the next shock. I think I'll... Someone did exactly what I said I was going to do. I think I'm going to use this right after the cannon. Because you kind of dodge in the cannon anyway. It's like, I'm holding this, yes, but like, even if I used it, it wouldn't get me that much. I'm still like right behind everybody. Okay, I'm just going to use it as defense. Or like, if I can somehow hold it all the way till the end, I'll just win with it. But like, this is, this is crazy. I can't even use this. I'm about to get a... Stay away. Yep. I got, I have a bullet in first. <laughs> I don't think I've done this before. I've smuggled the shock to first before I even got the bullet to first. Let's not even take that shortcut. If someone takes it, I'll use this to beat them. <laughs> I just, I just didn't use it. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. Oh, I love smuggling good items past the finish line. I rarely get to do it.